Folge von Kinkling Studentenfutter. Hello out there. Today I want to introduce myself to you. My name is Kling Jürgen. I'm a chef since 1984 in the great state of Bavaria, the wonderful city of Munich. And uh, I've been around the world since the 90s, also in Switzerland for three years. I've worked on a cruise ship, uh, Canada, Alaska, and also, of course, in San Francisco in the Great Bay Area, where I lived for 10 years. And when I got there first, it was, oh God, it was in the 90s, I think 1991 it was. It was so cold. It was Thanksgiving and I was homesick. It was just before Christmas. And I thought, oh my God, what am I going to do? And I made up in my mind this wonderful Christmas drink we got for the for the Chris Kindle market which starts right now and they sell everywhere we have glue wine we have cookies and Christmas ornaments to sell outside and the people gather around and drink the hot glue wine and uh, I made that my ex-wife made that and said what are you doing you're crazy but then I made it, I gave a sip to her and she loved it. And then it became almost like a tradition. When it got cold, I had to make my hot spiced wine, blue wine. I brought it to the 49 at games. I think I made two half a gallon jugs. It was gone in the first quarter. I mean, and now I want to bring to you this flare of Bavaria into your home. And if you want to know how to make this wonderful, this hot spiced wine, I'm going to show you, I would say, beat you up. Oh my God, I can drink too much of that, otherwise I'm gone. <laughs> mm, I love it. So, and this is what we need for our glue wine, three and a half ounce of uh, sugar, one cinnamon stick, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of cinnamon. I always put some normal as a ground cinnamon in there because it takes a little longer for the taste of the cinnamon stick to get into the wine. That's the reason why I put also a teaspoon of ground cinnamon in there. We have some gloves, about four. One bottle of wine and two oranges. Yeah, because in the orange peel, uh, peel it and in the orange peel, in, this, in the orange skin, it, this, it's actually the most flavor. Make sure you wash it before. And so. I, it smells already so good. I love the smell of the orange. So we're gonna save in the meantime this. you heat up your pot where the glue wine are supposed to be in and in the hot pot we're gonna add the sugar then we're gonna add the cinnamon break the cinnamon stick once and add the glove now we're gonna squeeze the juice of our two oranges and put them also into the pot. And now you can hear it already a little bit. Put it in there. Yeah. Squeeze it a little bit. And now we're going to let the whole thing slightly carbonize as a boil. Bring it to a boil in the pot. Going to add the slices. Because now we're going to get the entire flavor of the sugar, the cinnamon, the slices, the orange skin, and, and the glove. Everything we're going to get into the sugar when we're going to, when it starts boiling here. And uh, you're just going to have this extreme wonderful flavor. Oh. And I also have this great story. Five years ago, my brother and I went down to visit my ex-wife in San Bruno and it was Thanksgiving so 
we were going to get a Christmas tree a little bit earlier because we didn't stay that long and went down to Half Moon Bay. It was already night and he was he had such a beautiful setup and the, the lights were all over the Christmas trees that were standing up. You could go through the rows, check it out. And we also, my brother and I, because it was so cold, we made some Glühwein and brought it with on the road. But don't drink and drive. We had a desecrated driver. And um, we gave him some Glühwein. I think his name was Mike. I, I, I really don't remember. <laughs> And he loved it so much that he wanted the recipe where we didn't have nothing to write on. So my brother wrote it. We had no paper, nothing. So my brother wrote it on the door of his trailer. So if you ever go to Half Moon Bay and buy a Christmas tree and you see a trailer with the clue and recipe on, that's ours. <laughs> but as you can see now, Everything is gonna get already a wonderful flavor. We're gonna get a wonderful flavor into this into the suit here. The reason why we do it, once we add the wine, you can't bring it to a boil anymore. It can simmer, it can cook, it can boil, it can do nothing because otherwise the alcohol is gone. And this way we gonna get all the flavor out of the orange peelings, the cinnamon stick, and the other stuff. So now, oh god, this smells so good. Now we're going to add the other wine. I turned already the oven off. I'm going to turn it off a little bit. I'll put that in. And bring it slightly to a heat. It has to be hot, but like I said, not just just below the boiling point, okay? So I always do it really slow. I bring it really slow up to a heat because I want to get the flavor into the wine also. Let's taste the whole thing. Oh God. Oh, that's good. I love it. I love it already. So now, our uh, glue wine has just the right temperature and you can see it's just, oh, it's just, I love it. So just and now, it. like I said, that's, that's it. That's all to it. There's really, it's just about done in, in, in eight to 10 minutes and you got your hot spiced wine. When you put it in a cup, you can either strain it a little bit or leave some slices of oranges in there I just uh, I'm gonna taste it now I'm gonna taste it for you that's that's really good yeah. it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go, if you want to see more of me, you subscribe for free to the King Kling Show. If you want to see more of me, you subscribe for free to the King Kling Show. Yes, and that's just about it. So if you want to see more, then I would be pleased if you subscribe my channel for free. Maybe write something in the commentary if you want to see more of the Bavarian, great Bavarian food. So I can bring some little flair into your home. We can make dumplings, we can make a real good sauerkraut, red cabbage, schnitzel. I mean, you name it, from the mashed potatoes uh, down to, I don't know, there's so many things we can do to a really great potato salad also. And, you know, there is no magic to cooking. So, Kuss geht raus, bis zum nächsten Mal. Servus.